Recordbox DJ took Pioneer's music preparation program and turned it into a fully featured DJ software that includes DVS. Now it only makes sense that Pioneer would make the integration of HID as seamless as possible, and that's because once the CDJs are connected to the computer via HID, the laptop can essentially be put aside because all the controls you would need for Recordbox DJ will be on the hardware in front of you. Now, in this video, I'll go through how to set up HID mode in Recordbox DJ. So if you're interested in tutorials just like this one, be sure to subscribe to this channel. So now, let's get into how to set up HID mode in Recordbox DJ. So Pioneer DJ does a really great job of making the setup for HID mode in the performance software Recordbox DJ really simple. So of course, the first step is going to be hooking up the USB cable to the back of the CDJ, and then hooking up the other end of the USB cable into your computer. Now, of course, if you're hooking up multiple CDJs and you don't have enough USB ports on your computer, you're going to go ahead and need a USB hub to have all of those plugged in. But in this case, I'm only hooking up one, so I'll just hook it up directly to the computer. Now, once it's connected, the next step is going to be hitting the link button right here on the CDJ. Then you'll see it'll say USB MIDI mode and then push the connect, so we'll push the encoder down. And then you'll see the record box logo pop up so you know that it's connected to the computer correctly and connected to the software. Then we'll just go ahead and rotate the uh, encoder to select the deck that we'd like to, to use. So let's select deck one, press down. And now you can see our collection right here. So if I hit back, I can go through all my playlists. Oh, let's see. Let's jump to a playlist or two. Scroll through a little bit. Okay, and then we can just go ahead and load a song. Now again, just like HID mode and all the other softwares, the hardware controls do function like you think they would. So we have hot cues, you know, play pause works, cue button works. Of course, master tempo works, tempo range works. You can see it changing right here. And of course you can see the tempo change here. Sync and master work as well, just like you think they would. And then what's really nice, a lot like you see with Tractor Pro 3's integration, you get some nice visual feedback here on the screen as well. So you get an even brighter, uh, more distinct waveform right here at the bottom than you would get on Tractor Pro 3. So that's a little bit nicer. Uh, and then you also get the bigger waveform right here in the middle, which is really nice to see as well. But unlike Tractor Pro 3, you don't get the phase meter here at the top. Instead, you get a countdown timer uh, between cue points. So if I go ahead and hit cue point one, you'll see that there's a countdown happening to the next cue point right here, which is really nice to see. So if you're, you are a DJ that you know, likes using phrasing in their mixing, meaning you know, making sure that the kind of sections of music and the bars line up so you get smoother mixes, this will definitely help. If you're not that kind of DJ, it's not as useful. Uh, I would rather have a phase meter, but having the big uh, waveform right here and having a more distinct brighter waveform right here at the bottom are still two great features. Once Pioneer decided to make Recordbox DJ a fully featured DJ software, it made perfect sense to include HID mode. HID has always been the bridge between DJing with computer software to feeling like you're not DJing with a laptop at all. Now especially for DJs that are looking to make the eventual jump to the industry standard Pioneer DJ setup on USB flash drives, HID mode with Recordbox DJ makes the perfect path to go from entry level controller all the way to big room club setup. So if you're a Recordbox DJ user, the next time you're in front of a pair of CDJs, you should definitely give HID mode a try. Now if you enjoyed this video, be sure to like and comment down below. And if you haven't already, be sure to subscribe to this channel for more tips and tricks videos just like this one. Now get good, get out there, and make the moment.